Hi, I'm Neil Hermes and I'd like to share with you a story about one of my favourite Australian birds. It's the Australian Rainbow Bee Eater. In my book, Birds of Canberra, I've written a page about the rainbow bird or the rainbow bee eater. Um, and I've written about the experiences I've had with this particular bird. The rainbow bee eater is one of a fam part of a family of birds that occurs in Africa and Asia and Southeast Asia. There's about 20 species or thereabouts, I think. The Australian bird, however, has the name rainbow bee eater, and it does so because it has such a spectacular plumage. It has a long streamer in its tail. It has a blue colour on the underside of its belly. It has yellows and greens through its uh, front, and it has a bright yellow throat. The bill is a long hooked bill, and what the birds do is they hawk over rivers and ponds. By hawk, I mean flying backwards and forwards, swooping backwards and forwards over the water, catching flying insects, particularly stinging insects like wasps and bees. And they eat those, uh, they catch them and they go up onto a perch near the river and thrash them to death and then eat them. When they're nesting, what they do is they go down to the banks along the rivers and dig a burrow into the bank. And at the end of a burrow that's about half a metre long or so, they lay their eggs and raise their chicks. When the chicks hatch, they come out, they learn to fly, they join their parents in big noisy flocks in, in uh, autumn in Australia, and they all disappear from southern Australia and head to the north. We think they all go to New Guinea and Indonesia, but we're not sure because some birds are still found in northern parts of Australia, such as northern parts of uh, the Northern Territory around Darwin, for example. So we're not sure where the birds in, in southern Australia go to. I started a project a number of years ago to put bands, rings on the legs of these birds so that I could identify them when they came back to their burrows. And in the near future, I'm hoping to put some tags on these birds to find out actually where they go. And we'll finally know where these birds go to when they head off from southern Australia for our winter so they have a summer in the, in the tropical areas. This is a spectacular bird. It's a, a, a really interesting bird. They're really quite common and they have a very distinctive call. If you hear them along the rivers of the Murrumbidgee, the Murray, Murray River in summer in Australia, uh, when you're sitting by a riverbank, it's a very distinctive sound. And it is one of my favourite birds. Thank you for listening.